If you are considering adopting a dog, one of the first things that you need to do is to learn how to foster positive canine behavior. There are many different ways to do this. You can begin by learning about training and also how to reward your dog for good behavior. One way to foster positive dog behavior is by training the animal. It is a method that works well because it encourages the animal to do what it wants without threatening it. This can be useful for shy or fearful dogs. To foster positive dog behavior, it is best to start with one behavior at a time and focus on building a strong relationship with the animal. The rewards for the dog's behavior should come in different forms. These include petting, toys, food, games, or even your attention. Positive reinforcement is a technique that uses food treats to reward the dog for a particular behavior. Treats should be small, soft, and irresistible to the dog. However, they should not be used as a bribe. Punishing a dog for a particular behavior can actually increase the likelihood of the behavior happening again. In addition, it can worsen current problems. For example, if the dog is jumping, a punishment such as ignoring the animal might make the behavior more likely. Similarly, a fearful dog can be taught to relax without trauma from positive punishment. Another negative punishment is pinning the animal to the floor. A crate is also a good tool for instilling positive dog behaviors. Not only does a crate provide a safe place to leave the dog, it also helps with house training. If a dog pulls on a leash, for instance, a collar or a prong collar can help stop the behavior. When it comes to fostering positive dog behavior, one of the first things to do is to understand the animal's history. A dog's behavior is based on how it has been rewarded in the past. Therefore, it's important to learn what the dog likes and dislikes. Once you know the dog's history, you can develop a plan for changing the behavior. Some of the most common training methods are prong collars, choke chains, electronic collars, and verbal reinforcement. However, positive training methods are the most effective. For new pets, capturing is a good idea. Capturing the animal can also be helpful for shy or fearful dogs. Rewarding good behavior is a great way to encourage positive dog behavior. Rewards can include toys, treats, play and attention from the humans in your life. Using the right rewards can make the process of training your pet a snap. The most important part of any reward is timing. A treat should be delivered right after your dog performs a good behavior. If you wait too long, the reward will be lost in the shuffle. Using a clicker will help improve your timing. The best part of rewarding the right way is that it helps establish a connection between your dog and you. For instance, if you teach your dog to sit in front of you, you can give it a treat to reward its efforts. This builds on your pet's natural desire to please you. Another effective way to reward your pet is to let it select the rewards for its own good behavior. For example, if your dog is good at playing fetch, you may want to reward it by taking it outside to enjoy a nice walk. Providing the most fun and satisfying experience for your dog will ensure that it will continue to behave well in your presence. You'll also have a happier dog and a more enjoyable family time. It is also a good idea to find out what your dog's favorite activities are. By providing it with these fun activities, you'll have a dog that loves to play and will be a happy pup. Of course, there are plenty of other ways to reward your pooch. While this isn't the most scientific, you should do your research to discover what works best. Getting your dog to do the right thing at the right time is the key to successful dog training. Once you have a good grasp of what your dog's likes and dislikes are, you'll be able to create a training program that is as unique as your pet. One last point to consider is the cost of your rewards. You should never reward your dog with a high-priced treat unless it's truly necessary. If you're looking to add a new member to your family, consider adopting a dog from your local animal shelter. Not only is it a great way to save a life, but it can also give you extra special feelings. Dogs are known for their loyalty and affection. When they're put up for adoption, they've already been spayed or neutered, checked for diseases, and examined by a veterinarian. They've even been vaccinated. You can find out everything you need to know about a certain breed or personality through the staff or volunteers at the shelter. Adopting a pet is a big responsibility, so be sure you're prepared. Before you take the plunge, do some research on your own. 
look at the dog's behavior, size, and temperament to learn about the care and commitment required. The process of adopting a dog can be overwhelming. Whether you're new to pet ownership or you've had a dog for years, it's important to take it slowly. Keep in mind that dogs need time to get used to their new home and lifestyle. Also, be aware that the first few months are about establishing a relationship with your new pup. It's best to discuss your plan with your family before you take your new pet home. Make sure you have the necessary supplies for your pet, including food, bedding, grooming tools, veterinary care, and supplies for outdoor play. Don't forget to make your home pet-proof so that your new puppy doesn't have to worry about getting into trouble. A dog's personality and breed will also play a part in your decision. Some dogs have special needs that require more care than others, and you should be willing to meet those needs. Remember, too, that not every animal is listed on national pet sites, so you may want to visit a local shelter before you adopt. Bringing a new dog into your home is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make but it can bring you lots of joy and responsibility. As long as you're committed to providing care for your new pup, you'll be glad you adopted.